Hello everybody and welcome to game two of this amazing series that we are casting today. We have playing on the south side after taking a bit of a battering in their first game. It is going to be DevM playing as USF, backed up by Helping Hands playing as the Soviets. And in the north we have our champions of game one. Not an easy task, an hour and 12 minutes long, but we have Zara and Rutra, the French and Polish squad looking to close out this series with a 2-0 victory over Helping Hans and DevM. And they have mixed access as well. That was an amazing last game, Momo. You must be very tired. <laughs> tired in a sense, yeah, but at the same time, I'm super excited to see this series close out because that was a super close game. You know, outside of that tactical disadvantage they had there with that double ICU, you know, no, having no counter to it, it was... Still a crazy, crazy good game. But you know that's what? Like, that's like what we like about Company of Heroes. We can do it for hours and hours, but sometimes you get those games that are so good. That was one of them. I spent my entire break watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> but look at this. DevM is going back to the old school days. He's not doing double Soviet they, that they just did in the last few series. He's playing USF. He's got Rifle Company, I Heavy Cav, an armor company. No airborne. No airborne in 2v2. Did he not get the memo? <laughs> well, let's not fault DevM for USF because this is like his staple faction uh, for Company exactly. of Heroes 2. It's like what he's played for the longest time. So I'm pretty sure he's going to have uh, a good idea. But, you know, you look at Armor Company. It's one that he's uh, used greatly in tournaments before. Oh, yeah. Um, heavy Cavalry Company. It's just a given, isn't it? But you know what I miss the most? Tactical support. I really miss that Calliope. Oh, in peace. <laughs> yeah, Armor Company is going to be even better next uh, patch around December. December 10th, I believe, is the date slated to be implemented. But Armor Company is going to be great. So looking forward to that in the future. But right now on the top side, Hans is open for his uh, Maxims as he's been doing this tournament as Soviets. He's got him locked in the house there. But nothing really to support him there. MG's gonna do some decent damage behind green cover. Yeah, I mean, he started the game off with the double engineers, which we know helps get a lot of territory in early whilst you're waiting for that tier two unit to build. Things a little bit slower when you tech that way at the start. Um, but in this game, uh, actually, he is really on his own uh, this side of the map, and he does not do well uh, with the mobile infantry. Uh, in fact, it's the Grenadiers that have the, the advantage at going around the Arc of Fire there. That being said, suppressed Grenz, yep, are forced to retreat, so it's a bit of a win for hands at the start, I would say. Can you get those Grenadiers around in time? Nice job here by Zara. He's playing the Arc of this MG, rotating it, but look, it starts shooting instantly. <laughs> he is going to get the suppression there. I haven't seen that before. It usually takes a moment to actually target the squad as it's rotating, but... He's going to have to get out anyway because of that mortar. Almost loses the maximum squad to that. <laughs> Getting a second MG42 as well. Interesting. There's oh, double match. Check out, tier two of them. Check out Devon's rifleman in the center. Just picked up veterans. You want you see him? Oh, I think he made a little bit of a move for the Kubel then. And uh, that's something DevM is really good at, is waiting for that veterancy to pop so he can use the uh, the snare as a surprise tool. Always see that from DevM, like game after game. Really uh, nice little trick of his. Mm-hmm. He did go for Lieutenant, so we're going to see, are we going to see the uh, staple M20 opening for him? Is he going to go for 50 cal, a half track, both? I like seeing both MD things, so. I think that actually the, the M20 is a good choice uh, in a lot of ways, because obviously OKW won't be able to snare from the start, and also even for the Austere, they've got heavy support weapons, so only two Grenadiers, so M20 doesn't really have much contest on the field if he does go for that option. Having said, he's got a lot of resources. Yeah, you could wait one minute till the A half track. It's also an option. Does give him a little bit more uh, protection versus OKW mechanized and 222 since that can actually fight them off much better than the M20. Yeah, he's going mm -hmm. for the Cal, so we can assume that he's going to get the uh, A half track at this point. Or he could even skip it, you know. I've seen people skip it just for the 50 cows. Let's talk about the uh, the resource situation at the moment. Neither players uh, have actually managed to cap fuel for a significant amount of time in this game. I think it's about to fall double fuel into the hands of Axis. Got very, very low health rifleman there uh, for DevM. For some reason, he's still confident to stay in that engagement with two Volks Grenadiers. Yeah, come these to riflemen, look how low they are. 
Devin was really risky. playing it close on that. Waited for the LT to get into position, but these Volks are practically full health, and LT's trapped between these two squads. Gonna take full damage from the one in the chimney house. Also eats a flame nade. He's gonna have to pull that back as well. A half track in production, but unfortunately he's not gonna be able to fully reinforce these riflemen or the lieutenant, so he's gonna really have to make the rest of his squads work. So uh, Zara on the north managed to recapture one of Hans' Maxims, which was decrewed. And uh, it's going to give him a little bit of a boost to defend the resources on that side. It's looking very good for Axis. The question now is what are they going to do with their little resource boost for fuel they're going to be getting? And uh, also as well, we should watch the commander selections because it was nice to see the first commander picks. Kind of going to dictate yeah. how the game goes from here on. Look at Zara. He has three MG42s. Uh, no, Heavy one of them is the Max. Oh! Is it? Oh, you're right. Yeah, you right. recruit uh, I didn't Maxim remember. from Hats. Not bad on that. That was an, that was an early Maxim loss. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, Zara's done very well there. I mean, he brought out a Mortar early, uh, which is the Oster, you know, very good. He, he kind of knew that the Maxim was coming, I think. And, um,. Yeah, it's done a good job for him. Yeah, they're really going to need to pull off something here without any fuel. Axis are just creeping slowly forward. This A half track has to do a lot of work here. Yeah, a half track will do very well on the right hand side, actually. I'm, I'm quite keenly watching hands. He's got two flamethrowers upgraded on his engineers. He's going for the support weapon, the mortar there. He's also going to burn an MG42 from Zara. And uh, really, he wants to get the flank around on the resource point and the VP on the left side, because of course he lost that engagement earlier and he needs to focus on cutting the resource uh, through perhaps territory denial. And he just can't get into that, that strategic point at the moment to do it. He cruises in mortar. Not gonna be able to pick that up. Grenadier is coming for support. A half track does get fasted by this retreating Volks. Rutra has just finished his mechanized regiment. I'm assuming he's gonna be going for a Puma at this point, considering A half track is already well onto the field. Just needs a bit more manpower. Yep, there we go. Puma in construction. No Riketten. Four Volks Grenadiers. A half track's gotta work out for it. Good job by Devim though, he teched up for bars and bazookas and already has double bazooka on his rear echelon. Just gotta hug his A half-track while it goes around, pushing away these Volks, and he should be okay if he doesn't overextend versus the Boomer. It's a nice touch, isn't it? Minesweeper, double bazookas, and then a very, oh, very yeah. good mobile suppression platform for anti-infantry. It's very, very nice there. It's a strong support squad. Most oh, look at that. In the center there, Grenadiers get a great rifle grenade. The flamethrower on the Pioneers are going to remove that last squad. Maybe. Or oh, they might get away. Just barely. Wow, that was very lucky. Hans actually looks a bit like he's struggling on the left-hand side. Maxim's not so effective against units in buildings. Of course, they are being flanked constantly by these flamethrower pioneers, forcing the Maxim to change its direction and arc. Hans locking in uh, mechanized support, just like Zara and Reacher did last game. No manpower there for guards. Oh, look at this rifle nade! Wipes out the Maxim on the left side! Super <laughs> clean rifle. Needs to get that crude back ASAP. Puma here coming around the flank of the A half track on the right side. Bazooka and rifle nade moving in closer. Notices that, gets a shot off and backs off. Just picking away he at it. A, a beautiful line there to uh, get away from the echelons. Because uh, they were scouting around. You also had a rifleman to snare, so he, he used the Puma very well in that situation. Yeah, he's looking to target those rear echelons. He brought them down to two men. He was trying to force a retreat so he could actually chase it down with the Puma, but Devin recognized that, hopped in the house, and avoided a lot of damage. Hans eats another rifle nade in the middle, as well as a mortar barrage. He's almost about to lose his Maxim. He's really struggling with these Maxims, not really getting any territory. 
No, it hasn't it hasn't done so well for him, uh, this game, actually. But he has got the T70 just started building, and that's going to be a good complement to uh, the Maxims that he's got on the field at the moment. But uh, let's have a look at Devem, because he's just got healing. The ambulance has come up recently, uh, because he has been running in with low health squads, which hasn't been great. I think mm -hmm. uh, Rich has probably been taking advantage of that. But a uh, big question is Axis, they're still pushing the fuel really hard in this game. They might get double fuel again. And something has to be done about that. Whether the allies join together on one side or whether they win their respective 1v1s on each side, something needs to change. Yeah, hopefully Hans's T70 is about to hit the field can do that. Oh, looks like he's gonna lose the Maxim. Super close. Does not get it. Another Maxim gets away with a pixel of health. 2-2-2 two, two, two in construction as well for Zara, a bit late, about 11 minutes. wonder why he's getting that. I actually that. like the choice though, I mean, you'd probably want to get it early to get the Vet 2 for the late game. Uh, so maybe it's yeah. just a, a conscious he's probably, choice. Yeah, exactly. He's probably going to lock in Jaeger armor at some point and get the spotting scopes as well. T-17 makes its first appearance just on the left side, outside of Hans's base. It's pushing away those flamethrower pioneers, which have been so damaging to the Maxims at the start of this game. Incendiary rounds from the MG42, but not really penetrating the armor of the T-70. Can the scout car do anything to assist? No. Ooh, this gun was almost in range of that. Third combat engineer from Hans, definitely this one. Gotta get a minesweeper. Can't afford to hit a teller with that T70. That has a lot of work to do. Devem's still repairing his uh, A half track. Just finished up. Got the second re on, so he's got a uh, double bazooka squad. Definitely not messing around when it comes to that Puma. Actually, I really like that. Taking the T70 down on the left side. Great Ooh. teamwork between the two of them. Smoke popped for the exit. And the 2-2-2 and the Puma will get away. Still taking pot shots with ground attack on the retreat. Good play there from Rucha, displaying mm -hmm. very high levels of micro and making the most out of these engagements. Looks like Rucha's gonna lose an MG42 in the mid. He does. Devem's gonna pick it up. Nice pickup. It's something that they have to get here. They need to get something to come back in. That's certainly gonna help them hunker down on the right side with that 50 cal and MG42 now. Mm. Oh, but that Puma's coming back in. It's on the hunt. Fortunately, there are riflemen there to snare, and they are within range. Devem is uh, very quick on these things, so that will be a snare there. Forcing the Puma away. Bazooka squad's moving forward. Still a bit too far away to actually follow up, but nonetheless, having it ready. Combat engineers go down due to that Maxim in the house. Flamethrower down. Another law for Hans. Still so no commander reference. picks, actually, do you know? Like, you're actually... 13 yeah, minutes just, in, we... Just Hans. I mean, I don't think Hans has really given away his commander pick yet, from what I can see. He hasn't got the sure. guards in the field, so... No camo on is this either, unlike Zara and Rucho, who are just using that the entire game. Sometimes you Zara forget... Zara and Rucho, things like that. they've got to be so empowered right now after that last game. You know, it's uh, absolutely grueling, but both teams are going to be pretty tired, but they've got to be feeling the best after that, because after that... That massive slog of an hour and so, like, you know, they were the victors. <laughs> yep. At least they have something to show for it and they don't have to play a third game uh, if they lose. Oh, sorry, if they win. Yeah, it's a good morale boost, for sure. Oh, yeah. Just see the uh, stacking up these bars on the rifleman. Ooh, a half track looks like it's gonna go down. Misses the killing blow on the on the a half track with the puma. Just barely gets out of there. You just can't trust the puma to do anything, can you? Really? <laughs> yeah, it can miss a lot at max range. Yeah. So it's, it's a little trade off for it being so good. 22 on the left hand side, it's just pursuing the Maxims which are slowly uh, working their way back into safer territory. I don't think Hans has managed to get the Maxims working so far. There's, uh, look at these rifle grenades in the center, clear one of the Maxims, that's going to be recruited for sure. Amazing. And uh, it, it's so unfortunate, actually with the recap here, there's a low health uh, engineer which could go down. 
Enough we have Zara. Oh no. I mean, it would be a good trade if he gets away with his Maxim. Looks like he will. But if you notice, Zara's been spamming those rifle nades. So much so that he hasn't gotten a single upgrade yet on his on his grenadiers. No LMGs, just non-stop rifle nades, which actually seems like the right call. Considering how many losses he's been in. His first shots are actually looking to be on the Maxims. Scout car comes around the side for a flank. After the Stupid Zufu's hits, everything is uh, up in the air at the moment. Devin pushing yes. in hard on this top middle side. Pushing away these Pumas, this Puma with the bazookas. It's actually very well done. I mean, having the A half track there as well, just protecting the infantry right on the back line. As you say, like the Puma can't get near. But uh, that being said, Richard is trying. Doesn't want to get too close though. Echelons are suppressed, so they won't be firing the bazooka as often. This MG42 that got stolen is totally locking down the right side. This is the second time Rutra's come down here with a couple squads getting suppressed, so this is giving them a lot of room to maneuver. Like we just saw DevM being able to push that far up and towards the Axis base, so that MG42 pickup was huge. And now he has a Major out. Just check out the left side of the map at the moment. Hans was able to get to green cover with these engineers, meaning the uh, stolen Maxim isn't able to take refuge in the house anymore. And the hands just putting cloak on his AT guns. Looks like he's uh, going to be using DevM's AA half track as bait. Ooh, if he can get this Maxim back, it's going to take so much damage from this AA half track. That would be awesome. That was the quick re uh, unpack up. Nonetheless, pushes him off there. It gives him a bit of room to decap his VP and fuel. <laughs> Huge rotation from the Asir army. Zara is moving. Everything here to counter this push from Hans and Devon. It's taken a while, <laughs> but they're finally starting to get a grip on the map. There's a really good barrage from the AT gun on the approaching uh, Grenadiers, taking down a few models. And Look at this right side. Look at this far right side. Three squads here trying to flank this MG42. He's not locked in Spec Ops or anything with uh, assault grenades. So, oh, he gets the angle. Forces all three of them off. Good stuff. <laughs> and another wipe from Dev M. He just wiped off a uh, Volksgrenadier. Uh, it was Look a at Rucha's arm. Yeah, it was a Volksgrenadier just where the echelons are capping uh, the strategic point at the moment. Um, and I mean, Dev M like, flanked them. He completely encircled that squad. No chance of a retreat. Uh, Dev M's now going to bring up the Jackson. I think this is a really, yep. really smart choice because the infantry are yes. doing well enough that you don't need the Sherman. Jackson's going to come in and deal with that Puma in the scout car now. This is a serious and problem ISG. from Rutra and Zara. ISG going to get cleared out right outside their base. Don't think he's going to be able to get it, but any manpower bleed is better than nothing there. And yeah, you're absolutely right. He has no need for any infantry killers. Um, he's got the A half track, the barred out rifleman. He's got bazookas to support his Jackson if he gets chased down. And it's just in uh, kind of prevention of tier 3 vehicles if Zara chooses to go tier 3. But he's actually locked in Jaeger armor, like we said he would earlier. He's got the spotting mm. scopes on his 222, and let's see. No, he's not actually a Battle Phase 2. He's floating 310 fuel, so I guess from that we can assume he's going straight to Elephant. That might actually be something that helps them when this Jackson comes on the field. That might yeah. be. Uh, but again, they're not winning the infantry engagements here, and they're losing a lot of territory. Fortunately, Zara is keeping the left fuel very well. Actually, he's doing very well in this game to do that. His hands has been uh, focusing quite hard uh, on that. Hans has his first indication of adoption. Got a guard squad fresh out there. He's actually very close to ISU. Once he gets the CP, he can basically just insta call it in. Oh, what a nice attempt from Hans there. Was trying that little door exit my, uh, grenade. Almost wiped out that Panzer Grenadier. But yeah, he's one and a half CP from an ISU. Zara's one and a half CP from an elephant. Devem's locked in heavy cavalry. Rutra's locked in spec ops. This is going to be yeah, a call-in showdown. Devem actually cancelled the Jackson uh, when he made that choice. 
-hmm. So it this looks like, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be Clash of the Call-Ins. Uh, indeed, and we got the Command Panther that's going to come in at some point. So, wow, okay. Um, screw teching. Let's go yeah. for the most, uh, the most brutal form of gameplay we can imagine. Hope he keeps and in a way, it is brutal, alive. because if they're, if they're not going to tech, it's like, what do they build when the call-ins die? Do they wait for the call-ins again, which are more expensive? Or... Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's got its own risks. Then you got to wait. Yep. Look at this bunker. This bunker has been shooting out of the arc, suppressed everything here, because, like, one little guy in the squad, his toenail was sticking in the arc, so... <laughs> got the whole armada there suppressed. <laughs> Almost vet three on the A half track though. It's gonna get a little HP boost, so it's definitely gonna help against AT guns and the Puma. What a chaotic battle. We've got the Fab 50 bombs being dropped somewhere. I think it's uh, center. Actually, it looks like it was over the scout car. Oh my oh, goodness, misses, another wipe coming in. I believe that was a Grenadier going down. Or maybe it was a Volks Grenadier. Yeah, it was a Volks Grenadier. That's two Volks down for Rutra. Hans now has free reign to cap fuel on the left hand side. Zara's uh, actually caught up in the center, so there really is nothing. This is a great barrage from the AT gun. Oh. So the AT gun might get the last model and does wipe the pack 40. Very good barrage there. Hopefully, you can get, get it totally blown up as well. See who's yep, gonna hit the first call in here. Helping Hans does. Just freshly calling that ISU. And DevM is just eight fuel away from the Pershing. Zara's a super far away manpower wise. He's been bleeding from those last few engagements. He's gotta wait practically two minutes of manpower income. So I have a Hans feeling though, you know like when these call ins come in, uh, actually surely the elephant is gonna be the counter to what the ISU and the, the Pershing. Yeah. It's not it's like they have much tough. else to flank, so I still don't think it, it it's going to be so powerful, this, this call and strategy. This A half track, hopefully, can shoot down this plane. Need to be careful what the user munitions are, and Reconnaissance plane is going to get shot down once this A half track stops targeting infantry. You need to utilize the flares more since that can't really be countered. There we go, plane's down. Nearly, uh, <laughs> nearly wiped some of the bolts going to dish. Yeah. <laughs> on the, on Look the at retreat. this, Puma. Gets a rear armor shot on the ISU in the middle. He's pulling off a bit. Pop smoke safety net there. And there's this gun targeting it. Wow. Well, great game so far. I think it's about to start heating up though, because uh, whilst we do oh, have the yeah. two allied heavyweights with the Pershing and the ISU rolling up the field at the moment, Zara holds an ace up his sleeve with the elephant that will be here soon. And it looks like we might get the uh, Panzer V command tank as well. So we'll be treated, I think, uh, to something quite ferocious. Oh We're yeah, fighting once for that center VP. Start... Yep, once they start clashing, it's gonna be who can make the best use of it. They can get a quick mark target, you know, volley off on the elephant, or if they're going to be well supported, because Rucha is very close to his uh, command panther. Um, but the bazookas, the bazookas with mark target is pretty scary, so he's, he needs to be careful with that. We did just see a Volks Grenadier squad go down uh, just north of the center VP, which was from the ISU. Here's that elephant arriving on the field now. It's Panzer slow, Jager. it's cumbersome, but it's gonna do the job. That's exactly what they need. Actually, you know what? The mechanized regiment repairs are in a pretty good place for that elephant, I feel. Um, yeah, that's a solid spot. Ooh, grenades from uh, DevM. He's actually tech for him. He's gonna knock out this MG34. Rutcher just losing the backbone of his army. Smokes it off so he can actually get the cap. Oh, there's a right, squad of riflemen just go down to a mortar. Those are five models? I think that was yeah, five I models. Yeah, I think it was four or five. Yep. Four good old, um, good old wow. Austrian mortar. Well, that's a return for the He's ISU two because, you know. <laughs> it's true. RNG goes both ways. 
Puma hits bet three. That that fire rate's gonna get pumped out. Is that elephant reveals itself in a bad way though? Actually, takes a first hit on the uh, on the uh, Pershing, long range. But does it pack a punch? My God. No reason for this recon plane to not be getting shot down. Devem's moving away his A half track. There we go. He stopped it now, so he can actually shoot at it. It's taking so long to target, though. I think this might be a bug. Like, it's just staring at it. It's not actually trying to shoot it down. There we go. Or not. Actually, it's very it's very difficult when it... Because when it, I think it is actually firing. It's just the animation isn't there. Because that happened the last oh, time. Oh, okay. Yeah, that must be it then. It doesn't actually yeah, show the bullets firing and everything. Okay. Never seen it before, but it happened twice, so, you know. <laughs> I hope that's the case. Here's that uh, Command Panther from Rutra entering the field from the north. And uh, the Elephant's been played quite reserved, I think, as a backup to this. The Scout Car Vet 2 spotting scopes are equipped for extra sight range. And uh, with the Puma as well, I mean, what a great combination. This should be when Axis start pushing the field again. Command yep. Panther is about to reveal itself, and here comes the action we were looking for. Stukas weakening the AT gun, forcing it into retreat. I'm ready. Quite a bit too. He needs to get something in there. Good usage of Bun. There's no direct counter to it for OKW since they don't have Panzer Tactician. He's taking so much damage. This look, this Panther is just <laughs> rotating his rear armor. He's gonna lose this oh thing. My. Nearly oh lost my. it to the PTRS God. from the guards. Look how much damage it that took. Really Why didn't intense. he use his marked target? Hans, you have so much munition. You could have killed that thing. That would Look have been the Pershing, huge. By the way, have you seen the Pershing? Nearly going down to the elephant yeah. whilst that was going on as well. Main yeah. gun crit. I still can't believe he didn't use marked target. No, maybe he didn't have time. I mean, uh, I think we're just glad at the moment he got out with the Command Panther. That's the, <laughs> that's the key thing. But uh, Hans and DevM, they've got the VP lead quite strong. 442 to 210 for the Axis at the moment. Yeah, they've all but obliterated Rutra's uh, veterancy on his Volks. Like, he's lost, I want to say, four Volks? Yeah, he's produced seven. He's lost four Volks. Unvetted Volks, unupgraded, they have no chance versus all these uh, bar riflemen. No, it's going to come down to the uh, to the suppression. The Stuka has been landing some good shots. You know, it's 18 kills at the moment. Uh, so not having a bad game there. Maybe there's uh, more work to be done on these infantry squads. Command Panther fully repaired, re uh, revealing itself again. Takes his gun shot. No ba uh, 18 hits for... Uh, Han, so he's gonna have to pull that back. Wouldn't make sense with just one constant, but ISU on armor piercing. Oof. Uh, Ritra just lost his stem pioneers repairing the elephant there. I think we're getting light. Uh, no, it's actually off map smoke barrage called in by DevM to cover his infantry going in towards the elephant. Of course, there is a bunker there uh, which is helping with the suppression of the US forces. He's using his major he's... barrage. Well, that's a great. Great combo. And you know, it's actually quite difficult with Heavy Cavalry Company to utilize all the munitions that you get outside of exactly. weapons upgrades. So it's actually really exactly. nice to see him using the Major so uh, so aggressively like this. Yeah, you could also put mines down as his right with his rifleman. I don't know if he's exactly doing that. Uh, Command Panther Mark Target connects with the Pershing there, gets it to almost half health. Jackson in production for DevM, so that's definitely going to shore up his AT cap capabilities. Um, has he been planning mines with this rifleman? Doesn't, I don't see any. This 50 cal needs to get out of the south though, it's almost dead. But he's got MG42, MG34, nice plane crash. Look at all these units in the middle. Nice attack move there by DevM. He's coming back onto the field. Got his... Oh. Richer is uh, playing very desperately with his Vet 5 Volks Grenadiers on the right hand side. I don't know if I'd be as confident to use my squads that way, yeah. but it's also a late retreat. And uh, Puma comes in to try and save the day. Oh no, Puma's chasing it down. Looks like we might see the half track go down here. Yep. 
That's good. Micro gets away with the smoke too. Yeah, it's it's almost vet five. That's gonna be a very good asset when it comes to fighting off these uh, mediums and poking mm -hmm. away at the ISU. Devon did bring in the Jackson as his second uh, second medium vehicle. Well, actually first medium vehicle. So they're really trying to uh, they're really trying to get something together. I think they're probably going to have to dive deep behind the enemy lines and get the rear armor of the elephant. It's probably the the key. Oh, Pershing hold. wipes out that stolen Maxim. <laughs> Uh oh, Elephant's out of position here. Puma's trying to cover. It's going to eat all these bazooka shots. Look at what I was talking about earlier. Mark target bazookas just did so much damage. Elephant's going to go down. Wow. Great wow. play by DevM there. Amazing Haven. Combination of the mark target there from Hans. Finished off with the bazookas by DevM. A lot of damage. And the Pershing's going to get away there. That was very well executed. You've got Hans with the T-34. He's flanking around the north of the base now. He's going to try and take the Command Panther from the, the rear. And ISU gets a huge shot to the front. Go for the ram. going into the base. Do Bounces. we see the ram? Yes, we do. Yes, do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Got it. Puma's almost dead too. He clears it with the ram. Puma oh, it looks goes like down we're going to, to a game three. As well. I think we're going into a game three, Momo. Absolutely. What a great turnaround there from Hans and Devon. They just cleaned him out. Wow. The and surrender. the surrender. Well played. Well played. Good game. Victory is ours.